Hi, Dara. Uh, what I want to review with you today is simply what I described in the above paragraph. So what we need to have happen is when these customers are processing orders, they're going to be importing sale orders. Each sale order that gets inputted, uh, imported will have, you'll see here, a corresponding lot number assigned to it. So we'll just create lot um, test for Dara. That will be the lot and the product obviously will be associated as well. So they'll import these in and they'll see here the lot number and the quantity, etc. Now, what happens is, uh, we'll do Bob Jones. Once this order gets confirmed, these are business cards that they're actually processing. So this business card, uh, they're gonna buy it from someone who's gonna print it. They confirm the sale and we're gonna see the purchase order is automatically generated here for the 100 units. See here. So what we need to have happened is, this is for 101 because I had one ordered earlier, but we need this to be, to translate to 100 units and we needed to have the unique lot number provided here to translate over to the purchase order so that they know some, this customer bought a hundred units and the unique identifier for the, that customer's business cards is gonna be the lot number, which in this instance is test for DAR. Now, what happens when I confirm this? We need this test for DARA to be listed here on the warehouse receipt so that the folks in the warehouse know that this is the unique identifier that they should be expecting to receive and here are the quantities. And then of course, when they re receive them, should be able to, they'll do the 100 and they'll, it'll be the test for DAR, they'll receive that lot number. Uh, and the same concept from the sale order, go to sales, test for DAR on the delivery, we should be able to see um, the, oops, it's waiting another move, but we should be able to have a field here for lot number and it should say test for Dara as well. The purpose for this is they need to be able to know each where each pack of business cards are. For example, if Odoo places an order through this company I order business cards, Michael orders business cards, and Daniel orders business cards, and you order business cards, Dara. They need to be able to differentiate and know, okay, Daniel, these three lot numbers are going to be shipped um, to this uh, uh, New York, and these, this order will be shipped to California, or they're going to better yet be able to know um, exactly who, which batch of business cards. If I order 100 and Michael and we all order our, each 100, we need to be able to see which business card, uh, which pack belongs to uh, which order. So I, ho I, I hope that makes sense. Um, could you let me know an estimate in terms of what that would require on, on our end to build this for them? Thanks.